Good morning, guys. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. There is a little nip in the air. The leaves are starting to turn. My flannel sheets are on the bed. My flannel pajamas are in the drawer. So this can only mean one thing, and that it's time to make apple butter. So join me as we make apple butter together. So what we did was we took a trip up to the mountains, um, up 52 on past um, Mount Airy, North Carolina. We went on into Virginia to a little town called Galax. That is where we get our apples. We go every fall. And I always buy two different kinds to make my apple butter. And it just depends on what kind they have in stock or not in stock, but what... Um, apples on their orchard grew well depends on what I get. Um, I always like a firm apple, a firmer apple, and so I got two different kinds this year. This kind last year was really good for me. It's called John of Gold. It's very similar to a Honeycrisp, although this year it just doesn't feel quite as firm as a Honeycrisp does, but last year it was really good and firm. But it is absolutely the best tasting apple you will ever put in your mouth. As far as just eating an apple, the John of Gold is amazing. And that's what this is. I also purchased a Mutsu apple. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I've used this in the past for my apple butter and it was really good. And so that's why I got it again. Um, so we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I clean my apples, and then we're gonna give these a quick taste test. Okay guys, so just forgive my kitchen. It is in disarray. I made spaghetti and meatballs yesterday, and I still have my, di their dishes are clean, I just haven't put them away yet. And I'm get I washed my crock pot, got it out, ready to go for the apple butter. So let me show you my sink full of apples here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some lukewarm water. I'm just going to fill this sink full of lukewarm water. And I'm also going to put in some white vinegar. These apples were grown on an orchard. Um, I'm not sh sure that they don't use pesticides or anything. And since I'm not sure, um, I should ask the lady. But since I'm not 100% sure, I want to wash them and, and get them clean. Because I do cook them with the skin on. Now, the Mutsus, she had a box of seconds. And anytime I'm making apple butter or anything like that, I try to get seconds. The uh, John of Gold, she only had first. And I really wanted these because these were so good last year. But the Mutsus, I did get seconds. And... What happens when you get seconds is it may be bruised. Um, it may have little marks on them. And that's what puts them in the seconds category. I just cut that little piece out. And I paid half price. The box of first were $20. And I think the box of seconds were somewhere between $10 and $15. So um, you just pay a cheaper price. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many apples I'm going to end up using. Um, we're just going to go with it. These apples I've had for a week or so, and I need to use them before they start going bad. I, I noticed um, some of them. I've had to throw away a few. See, this one's getting a bad spot, but I'll just cut that out. So, we're going to let these soak in the vinegar water. And we'll come and get those in just a little bit. I'll probably wash them in this sink and then again in this sink. And um, and then we'll get started on them. 
Okay guys, so while they're soaking, let's do a taste test here. All right, first I'm gonna try the John of Gold. There's the flesh inside. Pretty crisp. Very good. It is the best taste in apple. Oh my goodness. It just tastes, I mean, the, the flavor. Now, they had one there. I can't remember the name of it. Now, it was crisp. I mean, crisp, but it was like you were eating nothing. There was absolutely no flavor to it. But this, this one, absolutely bursting with flavor. Now, let's try the Mutsu. It was pretty crisp, too. I can't remember. Yeah. Good. Really good. But not near as flavorful. As a John of Gold. This is a sweet apple. It's not tart like a Granny Smith. <clears throat> but y'all, the flavor is unbelievable. I mean, it's just like when I bite into it, it's like with flavor. This Mutsu, I would say it's a little tartar and less flavor. And it may be because I got a greener one. Because look, as you can see, let's, well, let's cut this one. As you can see, they get much more yellow. So let's cut this one, the yellow one, and now it's softer, and the flesh is more yellow. I don't know if you can see that good there or not, but a little more mealy, which will be good for the apple butter, um, and a little bit more flavor, a little sweeter. And the greener might see. So, but to eat an apple, just to eat, I don't like the mealiness of this. I like a crisper apple like the John of Gold or Honey Crisp. But y'all, the flavor <laughs> of this little baby. Hands down, the best. So if you ever find, you can't find these in grocery stores, I don't think. But if you have an apple orchard near you or you can order from one and they have the John of Gold, y'all, delicious. Delicious. In fact, I think I'm going to sit here and eat this. Y'all, I'm going to let them soak and I'll bring you back when we start cutting them up. Okay, guys, so I guess you didn't want to, I was assuming that you didn't want to stand and sit and watch me cut all these apples up. So, I have one pot on the stove already. I've got, and I'll show you in here, I don't know if you can, you can't see the water. <clears throat> but I have about an inch of water in here. And I'm just going to show you how I've been cutting the apples. You don't have to be particular. Now let me back up. Let me just back up a minute. This apple butter begins with apple sauce. This apple sauce is not the kind I make that we eat 
as applesauce. This is, I'm just stewing the apples and I'm squishing them up basically. Um, my other applesauce, I put sugar and cinnamon and pineapple and it's delicious. Go check that video out, find it. I think there's two by demand <laughs> out there. So it is delicious, but this is just plain applesauce. So that's how my apple butter starts. So I thought I would show you initially how I um, cut these apples up. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband, he's on the phone. Um, but let's, um, let me show you these apples. There's two ways I cut them up and just depending on how I'm feeling. Okay, so if you have one of these apple core things, they work really good. You just put it in here and you wiggle down. And then I just reach around and break them off. I throw the core in a bowl. I have a bowl over here that I throw the core in. And let's see if I can show you. All right, if I was making my applesauce that I eat at home, I wouldn't worry about, I mean, I would cut this out. But this, I leave, it doesn't matter because it's going to get squished out anyway. So it, it'll be taken care of. So I don't worry about taking the time now and cutting that out. Now, if it was a major part or the stem, I cut that out, of course. But the other way I cut an apple up to go in here is I just cut one side. And, of course, I couldn't cut that one. And then I cut that side. And then I cut that. And then I cut that, throw the core away. You waste a little more that way, but to me it goes a little faster. And then I just slice them up. Doesn't matter what shape because it's all going to get squished up. And yes, I leave the peeling on. So I'm going to finish filling this pot up, cutting these apples up. Over here I have and a few more in the sink. <clears throat> and we'll cut those up, get them in here, and get them going. Okay, guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you how absolutely tender are these. Um, I mean, it just you can just see how tender these apples are. So I've let this pot cool just a little bit. It's not real cool, but um, I, at least I can handle it a little bit. I'm going to use my meat drainer, see how that works. This right here is called a food meal. And as you can see inside, there's a blade and there's little holes. So I'm just going to put the apples in here, the skin, and see if there's any seeds will stay in here. And the applesauce will come out of the bottom. I have my crock pot container insert in here. And I'm going to try... I may have to get out another bowl. Let me see if I can find another bowl real quick. Okay guys, so I found a bowl this will fit down on. And we're just going to set it right in here. And I'm going to scoop out some apples. And we're going into our food meal with it. And I'm just going to squish. And then I'll every now and then I'll go around backwards to just scrape everything up. I need to get me a little bowl over here to put the skins in. I think that leaving the skins in just adds flavor. It adds color and it adds nutrients. Not that you're looking to be healthy if you're eating um, apple butter, but at least you're getting what vitamins are in those um, peelings. All right. Let me get a. I just want to clean the blade off so I can be sure I got all the pulp out of what's on top of the blade. Y 
y'all, I've already got a good amount in this bowl already with that one little scoop. Alright, one more time around. And then I'm going to show you how easy this is to get the skins out. Alright, I've gone around and so all I'm going to do is go around backwards and it just peels the skin right off the bottom. Whoops, let me go back around one more time. And there it is. Get my, get my bowl of cores over here. And I just scrape the seat, I mean the skins right out. Let me show you guys how much I've got already. Look at that. I'd say at least probably three cups, two, two and a half cups already of applesauce with one scoop. One little scoop. And I got a bunch more to go. So I'm going to keep mashing these out and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, here is my first full bowl of applesauce and I'm going to go ahead and pour it over here into my crock pot insert. And then we're just going to keep mashing. We got a little ways. Another full bowl should um, fill that up. So we're going to keep mashing. Okay guys, well we got back from church tonight and um, I made us our turkey subs real quick and I hurried up and started my apple butter and I forgot to film it. <laughs> but no worries, it, I didn't do a whole lot. I had it in the crock pot. Let me take you over there and I'll show you what I did. Okay, as you can see, I fill it up to about um, an inch to an inch and a half from the top. And if you see, I have a wooden fork or spoon on this side and a wooden spoon on this side. That is just to vent the lid in order to let some of the liquid evaporate out as it's cooking down. I've got it set on low. Inside of my applesauce, I put my spices. And let me tell you exactly what that entailed. Okay guys, so this apple butter has a total of four cups of sugar. But right now, this is, I've, I've squeezed out my applesauce, I've put it in the crock pot, and now I have only put half of the sugar in. I've only put in two cups of sugar at this point. We will put the other two in later. But right now we have two cups of sugar. I also added in, I've already added in, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one full teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of ground cloves, I'm repeating myself if you can't tell, and a half a teaspoon of ground allspice. So that's two tablespoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground clove, and a half a teaspoon of ground allspice. I put all my spices in and then two cups of sugar. Now, what you can do is um, I can make some extra applesauce or I can go to the store and buy a jar. I don't usually need it, but just in case um, you can do that. This will cook down through the night. Um, not much. It may come down a little bit. But if yours cooks down significantly, you'll want to have a little more applesauce to pour in and... and fill it back up a little bit um, but otherwise we're just gonna let it cook overnight I may even let it just cook on into the day tomorrow when I get up in the morning my house will smell absolutely amazing amazing it'll be wonderful anyway after about 12 hours I'll add the other two cups of sugar I'll also get my jars ready I'll get those sanitized and washed and we'll get ready to can tomorrow. But all the spices are in. That was a crock pot full. And I think that's a six quart crock pot. Um, so it, I can't remember. It's, you know, it's just your normal crock pot. Um, and so I 
filled it up with homemade applesauce that I just cooked the apples and squeezed out into applesauce. Um, two cups of sugar so far, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground clove, and a half a teaspoon of ground allspice. So tomorrow we'll wake up and we'll finish this. At some point tomorrow we'll finish out our apple butter. Good night, y'all, and don't go anywhere because I'm coming right back. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning, and it's time to put in two more cups of sugar into our apple butter. So that's what we're fixing to do. Mm. See, it has cooked down just a little bit, uh, and there'll be kind of like a little... You know, you want to stir this little film that takes because of the air. Oh, y'all. I wish you could smell. It has cooked down actually quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to add any more applesauce, but at this time you can. If you wanted to use a jar of store-bought, you could add, or if you wanted to make some more. Um, I'm just going to go with it as I have, and we're going to add in two more cups of sugar. There's a half, there's one, half, and two. All right. And oops, and you want to stir this in. And we're going to let it cook a few more hours. It looks just about ready, but we're going to let it cook. Um, we're getting our chickens today, so I'm going to go over to the farm and work for a little bit. And, oh, it smells so good, y'all. I wish you could smell it. My house smells like heaven. All right, so we're going to let this, I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to keep it vented with these two spoons here. And we're going to let it cook a few more hours, and then we'll be ready to can. Okay, guys, here is my apple butter. I do not normally let it cook down this far, but I've been at the chicken houses working, and <clears throat> it just had to cook today. But you know what? That just means it's going to be that much more delicious. That means it's just cooked way down, and it is going to be so good. So good. I'm just dying to make some biscuits so I can <laughs> put it on there. So this cannon process is like my water bath um, cannon process. On the stove I have a big pot with um, my jars in it. I have another pot with my lids and rings. And so I'm going to go ahead and start getting them over here. You want everything good and hot. You want your apple butter hot. You want your lids hot. Now they say you don't have to do your lids anymore. But I guess I was just raised old school. Ah. So I will continue in my old school ways. I'm just going ahead and getting all my jars over here because I can't really see down in here good. And I want to be able to set them down flat. What I'll do is I'll fill these jars up, put the lids and rings on. And... Um, and then put them right back down in this water bath and let them sit for 10 minutes. I'll put a lid on it, let them sit for about 10 minutes in this hot water bath and then we'll get them out and wait for the seals to start popping. Goodness, how many jars did I do? Four, eight, ten.
Now this probably will not fill this many up. Let's see if I got another one. And actually, that's it. All right. Got to set my rings down in there. Get my handy dandy funnel and my scoop. And we're just going to scoop it up and pour it in. Oh, y'all, look how thick that is. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be some yum. Let's see, I need something to set this on. Yum, yum stuff. All right, and I always take a napkin and I wet it just a little bit. And I'm going to wipe off the edge. I don't want anything to keep this from sealing. <clears throat> Where'd my tongs go? Alright, we're going to put the lid and ring on that. Ouch! That is good and hot. And I just do fingertip tightness, which means I don't use my whole hand to tighten it. I just do my fingertips. And I think I'm just going to set it over here until I'm ready to set them all in. I'll set it over here out of the way. And we'll scoop again. Y'all, this looks... So good. And y'all, have y'all ever had Cracker Barrels apple butter? Hmm. This is by far better. And I'm not just saying that because it's mine. <laughs> it just really is. <clears throat> I can't keep up with anything today. It's been a kind of a long day at the farm. We got our first flock of chickens and we hadn't got the whole flock yet we only got half of it uh, we got three houses worth and for some reason they came late in the day not late in the day but midday and so it's just been a long day just been a long day I think I'm just going to fill all these up. Alright guys, I'm just going to keep filling these up and I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay guys, here is my result of my apple butter. I have 13 little jelly jar, um, I guess half pint jelly jar of the apple butter. I have 13 of this size and I have one pint. So, as soon as Bryant gets home and we toast up this bread, we'll have him um, taste it. I did not fix biscuits tonight, I'm ashamed to say, but um, he can taste it on that other bread. Okay, guys, we just finished a delicious, delicious supper, and so Bryant's going to try the apple butter now. I had That's all I had left after I canned everything, so he's going to try it now. First off, let me, let me show you this right here. It's a new dish. It's a chicken smothered with pesto and uh, Parmesan cheese. You'll see that recipe pretty soon on the farming pastor's life so that means he wants me to cook it again so i can video it <laughs> all right look at that color then she made this i don't know what she's told you uh, there's two apples primarily she used one's called a john of gold which is a really sweet red apple <coughs> excuse me and the other one <coughs> is kind of a yellowish apple it's called a mutsu and uh so it's a combination to a little bit of cinnamon and the rest of the spices that she showed you Look at there, put that good old helping right there. If you've got diabetes, don't try this at home, okay? Because it's uh, good and sweet and really good, so. As he tries it. As he tries it. <laughs> so, 
So I don't know how it is on that bread. That is delicious. That is really good flavor, flavor, <laughs> texture. That's just a home run out of the park. Too good to be true. Too good to be true. <laughs> Missy, good stuff. Yeah. Say it again. Make your tongue smack your brains out. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even need a biscuit. <laughs> Just eat the apple butter. All right. So I guess this means y'all I'm going to have to go make some biscuits tomorrow. So thank y'all for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hope you enjoyed the apple butter. And remember if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And he's eating my chicken. There you go. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching.